Hi there, Builder Vlog. So I'm working at my brand new CAD station. Oh, I'm so excited. It's coming together very nicely. And I am trying to get Scorpios 9.5 together. And I can already hear a few of you in the comments. You know, if he didn't work on his CAD station so much, he might have Scorpios 10 done. But I don't. I at least finally have a space to work. So, um, a lot of you have been asking since I posted about BattleBots Return last week, um, is Scorpios X going to the fall face-off, to BattleBots face-off? And the answer is no. I've also had people ask, are you bringing the old Scorpios? And the answer is no. <laughs> um, Diane and I have settled on Scorpios, we're calling it 9.5. And what 9.5 is, is we're basically taking all the weapon upgrades we wanted to do on Scorpios 10, and we're making a new custom hat that'll fit onto the old frame. So we're going to bring our old trusty drive and the wedges everybody knows and loves, but we're going to see if we can do a whole new weapon assembly. And what's going to make this one very, very different from the others? Originally, all the weapon motors were mounted in the base and the hat sat on top and there was a pulley and a, a gear that had to engage to transfer power from the base of the robot up to the hat of the robot. Um, we're going to mount everything this time to the hat. We're making a custom hat and all the weapon motors, the motors and gearboxes that move the arm, the motor that spins the blade, it's all gonna be mounted in this upper level. And so as the robot takes hits and gets disformed, now the weapon modules will go with the hat and hopefully stay running longer. So I'll go into more detail about that once we dig into the CAD, but that is the general plan. But right now, we are racing to our sponsor, Van Bever Brothers, to pick up some more metal. And then we are racing to our other sponsor, All Weld, so he can help start welding together our solutions for Horizon and Roundhouse. So uh, let's get to the van. And uh, this week is also Diana's birthday. So please, everybody in the comment section, I would love it if this week's comment section is everybody wishing Diana a uh, big happy birthday. Whoever does their best Pinkie Pie, I'm going to send some Scorpio stickers their way. So go to that comment section and wish Diana the craziest happy birthday you can. All right, guys. I'll see you on the road. Hey there, Builder Blog. Guess what? It's my birthday! Well, guess what that means? We get to rebuild Scorpios! She picked it, not me. I did. So Zach's birthday present to me is taking me to our wonderful sponsor, All Weld's Shop. Hey guys, so here we are at the All Weld Shop. We um, got all of our stuff unloaded, ready to get welded together. So let's go in and see what we got planned for, for the All Weld team. All right, come on. So today we're gonna go ahead and make our horizontal armor solutions here at All Weld. Now this is something we started doing uh, before the tombstone and rotator fights. It's where we weld the face and two side armor plates together to make one giant armor plate. Um, the benefit to this is they help stay together even when they lose some bolts so they don't fly off like they did during our very first ice wave match. Uh, the downside is when they get damaged you lose all three pieces which is what happened to us in our uh, Shred it bro fight. So we're gonna weld these together. We found it is the best tactic when fighting horizontal robots. And we're gonna make one like the shield, which is what we used against Bloodsport, and one is the Tombstone special, which is what we used against Tombstone. And these will be our two solutions for when we are fighting the two horizontal robots coming to the face off. So what you've seen Zach do is to make our tombstone special and our shield armor, we're welding these two side panels to the faceplate. And to ensure that we do that correctly, we need to make sure that both these forks are level on the ground. So it takes a lot of time to Look, tighten and loosen the bolts in various directions to make sure we accomplish that. But we look good now.
the aftermath. Scorpios is a messy boy. So right now it is officially build season. And while we were down at All Weld, we brought some parts from our friends at the Malice team. Because it turns out they're going to the fall face-off as well. And so they are currently getting Malice ready to go, and All Weld was helping them out and welding together a few of their top plates. Hey, till all are one. All right, guys, so there's been some big announcements. Uh, people did figure out Jackpot's Facebook post, and all four robots for his opening weekend have been revealed. I'm going to show that here on the screen. Um, last week, I told you week two, my robots. Uh, we've also had Malice announce. So Malice, the wonderful Bunny Sario, and her amazing husband, David Lau, are heading down to Las Vegas to compete with the big horizontal drum, Malice. Drumette? What, what do you call that extra thick boy? All right. Uh, we also had Switchback, uh, the Texas team from Rev Robotics. They've officially announced and they'll be coming down for a session. And last week, people were able to decipher my clue about another uh, winner of the most destructive bolts. So Tubestone and Valkyrie are in the final week. But I had a team send me an announcement card that I'm going to play right now for you. You guys won't believe who's coming. Hey, Builder Vlog. I just want to announce right here that Manta will be fighting in BattleBots Faceoffs on October 4th through the 6th, live in Vegas. And I hope to see you guys there. And for those of you who don't know Manta is, he just won RoboGames twice. Like a certain Minotaur or Tombstone before him. So definitely check out our video. Link is in the description. Well, a big thank you to our friends at All Weld for getting our anti-horizontal armor welded together. So we're now set to fight Horizon and Roundhouse with this. And now all that's left is to get it out of the van and go get it in the shop. So guys, we have a lot of work to do over the next few weeks to get ready for the fall face-off tournament. And uh, please like and subscribe and join us for this journey. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, as I was uploading this video, we had a piece of information drop. Uh, the Destructathon is closing its doors. Now, I do not know what this means for uh, the face-off tournament. I do not know how this is going to impact everything. Um, so unfortunately, you're just gonna have to come back next week. And since, to the builder's knowledge right now, the builders were not directly informed. This email only went out to Destructathon staff, and uh, those of us building for the tournament have not been told anything specific. So, uh, come back next week. Hopefully I'll have some answers about this. I know it's kind of odd to just throw this here at the end, but uh, as we're all moving forward, as it takes months to get these robots ready, uh, weird stuff like this comes up and you just have to move forward. So, anyway, I, I wanted you to know I, I am aware of it, but until BattleBots tells me something specific, I'm just going to keep working on the robot. Alright, I'll see you guys next week and hopefully we'll get some clarity and some answers. Zach is taking me on an adventure.